The KP index, is it safe to fly when it's over five? Let's find out. Let's do this. So hello and welcome once again to the channel on this uh, extremely nice week here in the UK. At last, I think summer's arrived. <laughs> and we've been out flying quite a bit in this last uh, week. So I just had to make this video today. It's just a short one, all about the KP index. So what's the KP index all about? Is it safe to fly? When should you fly? When shouldn't you fly? Well, as you can see just here, KP of one to four, completely safe. At a KP of five, you'll have problems perhaps 1% of the time. At a KP of six, you lose an average of 5% of your locked satellites. And at seven, you lose roughly one third. So is it a myth? Is it safe to fly? Is it pure luck? What I did is I took uh, two drones out today, the Mini 4 Pro, and the latest addition to uh, Nobby Green's arsenal is the Air 3 as well. So we took both drones out and we uh, had a fly around on today's index, which is extremely high. It's a, a, an index of nine. So I thought, I've just got to go out and test it. You know what I'm like? I like to see if uh, these things are real. Does it affect your drone flying? Well, let's get straight into the video and have a quick look exactly what happened. So here we go then. The first up is the Mini 4 Pro and on the usual testing flight area where I like to test these videos out and what I want you to do is to keep your eye on the RC signal and also the compass because those are probably what is going to be affected still waiting for a few more satellites to come up we've got 22 at the moment and as the flight goes on we do get a few more just creep up slightly but what I want to do is just test out this uh, compass. I'm going to speed it up so I don't bore you to death with this flight because all we're interested in is to see whether is anything is affected or not. So all good so far. You can see there the compass is working as it should. And we have 26 satellites and a full signal at 1500 feet out. So everything seems to be working as it should. So I've just changed the compass setting so we can actually see now that green dot in the center and that should give us a good indication as to whether we're actually pointing at the drone all the time. But as you can see, the RC signal is absolutely fine. 26, 27 satellites, and nothing seems to be bothering it whatsoever. So I'm just gonna check in the in-flight information and make sure that the return to home height is higher than we're actually flying at. And then we'll do a quick return to home test and see if anything's affected on that. Okay, let's hit the return to home and see exactly what happens. AR's come in. I do like this now. I didn't like it at first, but I must admit that it does give you a good idea as to uh, the flight path home. And as you can see, that's working absolutely fine. Pointing directly at the drone, as you can see the compass there, the green dot is flashing up. Speed it up a little bit. So I think that will uh, conclude that one as uh, done. So that's the Mini 4 Pro. Let's switch over now to the Air 3. So here we go then, take off with the Air 3. And I must admit, this thing is an absolute beast. Been flying it now for about a fortnight. And I'm so impressed with it. It's unbelievable. And the way it, uh, it climbs in altitude extremely fast. So same scenario, we've got the compass uh, in the middle of the green dot there so we can see that we're pointing at the drone all the time. 
and we've got a uh, full RC signal, 26 satellites, pretty much the same as what we had before. Okay, so we'll uh, speed it up a little bit. One of the things to mention uh, when we've got a high KP index, what the old country has been talking about over this last couple of nights, is the fact that uh, we do get aurora indications and it's been throughout the UK. I'll pop a few uh, pictures on screen of what we took over the weekend. But looking at this uh, footage, you can see it's absolutely exactly the same as the Mini 4 Pro. Just flipped it into sports mode just to give it a, a bit of a background. There is a couple of images taken Saturday uh, evening and Sunday evening. And as you can see that Aurora, this was over my son's property actually, we live about half a mile from where we live. We got some spectacular views. I did take a couple myself, but they didn't come out quite as well as these. So back with the Air 3, and as you can see, absolutely nothing at fault whatsoever. One of the features I do like about this Air 3 is that uh, medium telephoto lens. It gives you the ability to shoot uh, further away and still capture the detail. So just finishing off with the return to home on the Air 3 and as you can see absolutely nothing whatsoever is causing any of these drones any issue with a KP index of 9. So let's get back into the studio and we'll summarise it. So as you can see there in the video absolutely nothing happened to either one of these drones if anything you can see in the results the Air 3 didn't have as many satellites locked as the Mini 4 Pro did. So maybe there's some truth in it, but to be completely honest with you, I didn't find anything. Now, usually it would affect compasses and things like that and electronic components in these things and the signal ratio between that and the controller. But as a caveat, I find nothing wrong. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and fly when there's a a KP index of 9 because it could affect your flight. All I can do is report on my findings and as I said I couldn't find anything that was wrong. So there we go just a quick short video today for you um, all about the KP index and uh, whether it's worth it uh, flying above 5. Well in my opinions well it didn't make any difference to my particular flights on today's video but like I said earlier um, do fly with caution above five because that's what these indexes are there for. And being a radio amp for many, many years, these solar uh, flares and uh, electromagnetic flares, they can disrupt radio signals. If you found the video useful, don't forget, as always, give us the old thumbs up. And if you're new around here, why don't you consider subscribing, dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it. I'm sure you know me by now. And you might like to watch those couple of videos I've chosen for you over there. And if you do, I shall see you over there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.